Welcome to Christian Nutrition, the show where we review every single episode of VeggieTales chronologically. And this time, I actually do mean we. Welcome to the fan written VeggieTales episode, and that's right. Finally, it's time for the wonderful world of autotainment. <laughs> I got a lot of submissions from you guys for this one, and I'm going to use what I think is the best of the best. I mean, there probably are more funny jokes in there, but there's just only so many jokes you could throw in an episode, you know? It was released in 2003, which is the good era, the best era, the era that Phil Vischer actually owned big idea. Which means this episode should be a laugh ride. I mean, it was released around the time of Jonah, Lyle the Kindly Viking, King George and the Ducky, you know, they were on a roll. I will note that this episode took two weeks to produce instead of the usual four months, which is unusual. And it's also not considered a mainline episode, so I'm not 100% positive what to expect with this one. For every joke that is not my own in this episode, I will put a caption on the bottom of the screen, like so, to let you know who wrote it. Now, if you didn't put your name on the submission form uh, when, when you submitted jokes, it's just gonna say anonymous. So, sorry about that, but I can't read minds. Also, side note, I did edit some of your jokes to be not necessarily funnier, just to uh, flow better with the way I talk or with the clip that we just saw. Still the same joke, just edited the way the sentence is structured, basically. So let's dive right into this wonderful world of autotainment. Okay, Larry, it's time for the theme song. Uh, not this time, Bob. You better get on out there. No, really, I'm not doing the theme song. I knew that this day would come. Oh yes, Larry thinks that he should be in charge and Bob should be under him. Ah, <sighs> man, this is basically the polar opposite of VeggieTales on Netflix. I'll name mine, Steve. Bob, it's time to wake up and smell the future. Are you saying the future can't be black? I am triggered right now, Bob, to the point that you don't even know. Where are we? The future. Wow. Uh, the future sure is white. That sounds a lot more racist coming from a red tomato. Yep, the future's been white since the 70s. Since the 70s? What color was the future before that? Theme songs are too predictable, too repeatable, too ordinary. The future is about the unpredictable, the unordinary, the unexpected. Uh, I mean, just because a theme song is predictable doesn't mean it can't be good. In fact, that's why we like theme songs, because we know the words and we know the music. It's catchy and it's good and we like to sing along. <laughs> You know why this is funny, Bob? Uh... Larry is a chicken now. This does seem like the next logical step for him. Because it's unexpected. That's why. That's what makes this chicken head funny. You weren't expecting me to put on a chicken head, were you, Bob? Uh... Of course you weren't! What's wrong, McFly? Chicken! What did you call me, Griff? Chicken! McFly! <laughs> Nobody... calls me... <sighs> Chicken. That's why, in the future, entertainment will be randomly generated. Randomly generated? Randomly generated. And here I thought autotainment meant, you know, like entertainment, but heavily influenced by uh, automobiles. Yet I was wrong. VeggieTales like, oh no, it's entertainment that's just automatic. Thanks, VeggieTales. Thanks for pulling the slip on me. Hi, Rusty. Hi, Ventrilomatic. Hi, Larry. Hi, Bob. Greetings. Hey, those are robots. They are? Wow, Bob, I knew there was a reason we were keeping you around. I just wasn't sure what it was. If it wasn't for your great observations, I would have thought those robots were real people. Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know. Why did the chicken cross the road? Weed eater. Where's my notepad and pen? Uh, these are good jokes. I need to write them down immediately. I'm kidding. If you think that joke was funny, then you're the problem with TV these days. You're the reason Chuck Lore comedies are on TV. Chuck Lore comedies being, you know, uh, two broke girls, two and a half men, Big Bang Theory, Mike and Molly, all based on the premise of one joke. Now, what are these jokes you might ask? Well, they're pretty simple. The one all about sex, the one all about hot cheeky girls who are poor but could easily be models, the one all about being fat and talking about losing weight but never actually doing it, and OMG, these nerds are stereotypical nerds. What is the solution to the equation two plus two? I don't know, what does two plus two equal? I swear, if he says weed eater. Weed eater. That's a good one. 
one, two, three. I mean, that seems legit. I did get a C in, in math in high school, so uh, the math adds up. And I like my job. I don't want to give it up to a couple of robots. You can't stand in the way of progress. It's veggie versus machine, Bob, and the machine's got the upper hand. Well, of course they have the upper hand. The machines actually have hands. The wheel of veggies will choose a performer at random, and the swarming balls of disorder will determine both the topic and the genre of the song. No, I can't do this any longer. Jesus, take the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. Take it from my hands. Wait a second, isn't this technically a theme song? Oh, uh, Larry, I thought you said the future didn't have theme songs. Bob, seriously now, could you stop stealing my jokes? So basically the whole premise of this entire episode is that these uh, robots from the future randomly pick a singer from the VeggieTales universe and also pick a random subject for them to sing about. And uh, yeah, if that sounds interesting to you, then you're in for a real treat. But if it sounds stupid to you, then you already know the truth. The French peas! Ah! It's happening! Ah! Well, the French peas are officially dead. This is a sad time in all of our lives. Uh, if the funeral's this Friday. If you want to go, comment below to RSVP. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole. There's a hole. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a what at the bottom of the sea? We can't just be sitting on this vital information. We have to tell everyone. The world's gonna collapse. Let it flee, let it flee, let it flee on the wing, on the fly, on the frog, on the bump, on the log, there's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Three things. First off, is 3 2 and Penguinception a thing? Because it might just be a thing. Second, and this is a fun fact. That picture of Lyle was originally a picture of a toilet. In fact, you can quickly see the bottom of the toilet picture when they close up on the peas in the next shot. Lastly, if Junior is getting sucked into the bottom of the sea, then I can actually live with that and I encourage it to happen. How do you sink a submarine full of peas? I don't know. How do you sink a submarine full of peas? Your boat has not left the driveway in 15 years. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! You know, that Zacchaeus and I have a lot in common. What leads to that correlation? Well, he was a tax collector in a tree, and I've got a surge protector in my knee! That joke kind of makes sense. Wow, what does this episode come to? Next up is a random short film that an animator made, and Big Idea threw it in to pad out the episode. Now, that's just my guess. That's not 100% positive, but, I mean... Could you really argue it? One person who submitted a joke states, this entire short is the reason I don't have a copy of this movie. Also, all he did was spend money on food. How is that greedy? Fair enough, I say, fair enough. Hello darkness, my old friend. Archibald Asparagus. Military. Intelligence. I know the kings of England, and I quote the facts historical. Okay, okay, in case you missed it. What's up with VeggieTales portraying Larry as Abraham Lincoln? He was Abraham Lincoln on a penny in Sumo the Opera, and now this. Is there some sort of veggie propaganda going on here? I'm very well acquainted, too, with matters mathematical. I understand equations both for simple and quadratical. It seems like the future is completely devoid of any sort of logic. Also, if Alfred is such a super genius, you know, primed on logic and science, how could he possibly be making the staircase of books? This isn't scientific. This is magic. Alfred isn't smart. He's a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. Well, I don't know. What do you think? The intensity of your reaction is unreasonable. Oh, so now I'm being classified as unreasonable, uh -oh. huh? Larry, well, what's up with Rusty? Rusty's going to cause the apocalypse. Hasta la vista, Veggie Tells. It was, it was nice knowing you. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine. I think the origins of Larry's decision to sing this very specific song uh, harkens back to his love for Barbara Manatee. But that's just a theory. A Christian nutrition theory. got some serious hang time there, but what if? What if he wasn't jumping, but he was levitating? Oh, 
fortunatissimo, 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 no matter. This clip sums up this entire episode quite nicely, meaning, uh, why did they make this and why am I still watching it? You are making me uncomfortable. You are my sunshine. This really got homoerotic for robots, so... Robo-erotic? Ha, ah, great! Big band? Big donkey! You can always tell your neighbor, you can always tell your pal If you ever navigate it on the Eric Canal <laughs> Yeah, Paw Grape is uh, certifiably insane. We need to get him to a mental hospital stat. Oh boy. Sal, you're, uh, you're on my foot. When the heck did Paw Grape get a foot? I'm putting a stop to this nonsense. <laughs> All right, everyone, that's the end. I'm sorry, but this isn't gonna work. I'm calling off the future. And that, my friends, is why VeggieTales fell apart and exactly why we have VeggieTales on Netflix. Thanks, thanks a lot. VeggieTales in the city. With all that went wrong, where's the lesson? Wait a minute. I know something we learned. Mr. Lunt, would you mind queuing up, Junior? You got it. Wait, wait, wait. Are we saying the Wheel of Veggie isn't random and that Mr. Lunt can just queue Junior because Larry asked him to? That breaks all the rules we were told before. Uh-huh. Okay. Sure. You know, I have a fun fact about Junior in this episode. As it turns out, he isn't voiced by Lisa Fisher. She couldn't make it in time to voice him, so Mike Naraki did it and they just pitch shifted him to sound similar. In my bed, I start to pray. No! You know, a lot of you submitted jokes for this section. Um, you guys knew, you guys knew what would happen when I viewed this but I'm not gonna do it, no. I'm not going to say any jokes for the section. I'm not gonna make you nor me suffer by watching Junior sing what is undoubtedly a boring and terrible song. That torture should truly be reserved for prisoners at Guantanamo Bay. I would actually rather see Paw Grape again, if, if that's possible. Baby, come back. Right, Larry, we did learn something today. God loves us no matter how bad of an episode we make. Just just giving Bob some assistance on finishing a sentence. Well, Larry, I think it's time to go back to the future. Can I have my old job back in the present? These robots are freaking me out. The future is wow, that was kind of an abrupt ending. They didn't even say that God made us special and he loves us very much. Did God make me special? Does he love me very much? What if someone only saw this episode of VeggieTales and just decided what they thought about the entire series of VeggieTales based on this episode? Man, that would that would really suck. And I feel bad for them and I hope that they eventually get to watch another episode. It's a good thing the Wonderful World of Autotainment isn't a mainline episode. In fact, it feels kind of like a cash grab, kind of like a B-side. You know when bands release a B-side and it's just full of a uh, you know, like demos and extra recordings and stuff, stuff they didn't think was good enough for a regular record. That's what this feels like. It has a very thin premise. The songs aren't really that good. In fact, I only liked one of them personally. And it was that uh, Erie Canal Buffalo song. That was that was the best one. Now I wanna thank you all for your fan written jokes. I'm sorry I didn't get to use every single one of them, but honest to goodness, there was like 250 plus jokes submitted by everyone. So it would have been insane to stuff those all in. But if you want to do another fan or an episode, just let me know below and tell me what episode you think would be good for it. Now keep in mind, it's probably not gonna be a main episode. So a side one, another side one they did. Now remember that God made you special and he loves you very much. Bye.